The Legend of Zelda video game is perhaps some of the best video games, some of the most well-known video games in the whole wide world. And it's really, really cool to see franchise grow. Obviously, the Breath of the Wild being the most noticeable game on Nintendo Switch really brought to life Legend of Zelda for so many people. But someone has done the Hyrule Castle in Lego. So welcome back to Lego Actors and we look at the Hyrule Castle of Legends of Zelda in an amazing new Lego set. Welcome back to LEGO Access guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you're looking forward to New Year and I hope you've got lots of aspirations for 2021. Today we are looking at the Hyrule Castle of the Legends of Zelda. It currently has 2,169 supporters with 600 days left so make sure to go and support this amazing set. I, I think this might be the second time this person has tried to do the set but it certainly does look very very cool. The person who made it, Artem Bazaev, said, Hi LEGO fans, here is my Hyrule Castle from the Legends of Zelda series, built and decorated with great love. Since the days when I was a kid, The Legend of Zelda is my favourite series of games. This game has a huge fan base and it is not surprising there are so many Zelda projects and they are all great, but which one do you want the most? That's why I decided to look at the idea, not as an author but as a buyer. So as a buyer, people do want the best and the biggest Lego sets. That's personally what I would want. But yeah, so people like children, obviously they want to play, they want to have various things that they can use the set for. And adults want like a good looking model on the top of their shelves that they can display. And they're obviously not play with maybe, but they can like display and it looks cool and they can look at it and be like, that's such a cool set because it represents one of the video games that I really, really like. So something like, so you know when you put a picture on the wall of your room because you like the way it looks, but that's the same for a Lego set. You put it on top of a wardrobe and you think, well, that Lego set just does look really, really cool and I want people to be able to see this amazing set. So everybody for this set, this guy wants to make sure that it's playable so children can play with it. He wants to make sure that it looks good from the outside and, and also as fans, he wants to make it so that it represents the actual Zelda one, and it does. So, fans want to recognise elements from the game. Remember how happy you were when you were playing the game, found hidden by the rocky wall, the entrance to the fairy fountain. Why not replicate this in Lego? And what about finding pieces of heart, collecting chickens, breaking pots, and cutting rose sides? They're a must. These are a must. It's impossible to imagine it without chess or map and a compass. I included them in the set. I created four different link shields. So fan can pick their favourite game from this series. So, I personally think that this set does look really, really cool. They've obviously put a lot of dedication into this set. And I think they've done a masterful job of picking which set they should do. I think the characters and the town market that they've done does look really, really cool. I think they've used all the different shields like I just mentioned there. Have been done very, very expertly. And this is one of the most impressive Lego idea sets that I've ever seen. The Temple of Time looks just amazing. And the amount of detail that they've put into not only making this Lego set, but describing it for you guys is just amazing. And they've done just, this is the best like well described Lego set I've ever seen. And the characters are so good, like Link looks so like, impressive. Like I'm really impressed by the amount of detail and they've managed to put in the set while keeping the authenticity of the series. So it looks really, really cool. Now for the actual set, the Lego, it doesn't look basic. It looks really cool. And obviously Zelda looks really cool. And I think that they've done a fantastic job with this amazing, amazing set. This does rank as one of the highest Lego sets that I've ever seen for my Lego Ideas series that I've been doing for a while now. It looks so, so good. If I look at all of my Lego ideas, I've done 31 videos on Lego ideas. It is perhaps one of the best ones. I would say that it's really up there with the Naruto, with the Jumanji, with the, oh, lots of, lots of different ones, with the Avatar one maybe. Um, it's, I think it's better than so many of these amazing sets that have been done. I think they've done such a descriptive and amazing job with this set and I cannot wait to hopefully see this set be redone into Lego. Now we've had a lot of the Legend of Zelda sets being not 
hitting the heights that it was meant to hit. Obviously, some of them um, did not manage to hit 10,000 supporters. Some of them did, and they got rejected. But this one is one I can see being redone. Obviously, the castle has been redone before by a different person that I will make a video on if you guys really like this video. But I do think that this set is just impressive and really cool, and I cannot wait to see some amazing sets. So hopefully we get some more amazing legacies. And the reason I think that this set will be redone is because it's the most detailed one I've ever seen. It's the one that looks good. It's the one where he's put so much dedication and time into this amazing set and describing it for the fans. And also the link between uh, Lego and Nintendo right now, obviously they're doing Mario, but that does not mean that they cannot do a Legend of Zelda. And even if this set does not get redone, I'm sure that there might even be a Legend of Zelda Lego sets down the line that Lego would themselves will publish and use inspiration from amazing Lego sets like this. It'll be great to see, so I really, really hope this set does get redone. Make sure to go into the my description and support the set. Thank you guys for watching yet another Lego Access video. I had a great Christmas and it's so good to see that we have almost hit 300 subscribers. We're currently on 280. We're still grinding up and I hope that that increases over the next year. I will be making videos at least once a week for all of you guys and it's so good to see that we're still growing in our videos and obviously some of the videos that I've done recently you might not have enjoyed as much or you might not have seen so obviously there's a glitch in YouTube where like you might not have seen some of the videos in my sub box but again you might not have just wanted to see that one obviously we had a great period of fun when um, I released lots of videos like the Ben 10 all the Among Us ones, the Wallace and Gromit one, Carl's house. And obviously, um, recently I tried to branch out into doing other stuff. I turned on comments for a few videos. Um, we've got the Dumpy house, we've got the Tintin Adventures. So I'll leave a link for uh, my last video, Lego The Nightmare Before Christmas set, if you guys missed out on that. It's slowly gaining some more views. I really like that set. Obviously, you might not have watched it, but I thought it was really, really cool. So I really hope you guys had a great Christmas. And I hope you guys have a fantastic new year and hopefully 2021 is better than 2020. But thank you guys for watching my videos. I might turn comments on for this video depending how I'm feeling. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.